Welcome to the show, Manu Bali. How are you? Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So I was just kind of talking with you offline. Uh, I had the pleasure of going to your Mountain View conference back in 2017. And man, it's, it's been a long time since, uh, since then. And your project has kind of been growing and just doing so well. So kind of uh, give us a quick introduction on who you are. Yep, happy to you. And it was, it was great to have you there in the audience. I feel like crypto was a, uh, it's still a small industry, but it was even a smaller industry uh, back, back in 2017. Uh, so a little bit about me. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a computer scientist by training. So I did a PhD in distributed systems at Princeton University. And before that, almost like, you know, for 10, 15 years, I've mostly been doing research work in distributed systems, internet protocols, and that was kind of like my entry into crypto as well. Like in general, uh, you know, the, the project started off from the computer science department at Princeton, uh, mostly as a very ambitious kind of like uh, project to build the next generation internet, like the more secure core internet infrastructure, right? Like the, the internet is like a you know, 30, 40 year old technology at this point. And we were looking to upgrade some, some of the core internet infrastructure and uh, discovered blockchains almost like afterwards, right? So we discovered blockchains in 2013 um, to put, put it in kind of like Bitcoin terms, Bitcoin was trading at like 90 bucks or, or, or less than that at, that at that point. And we discovered blockchains as like a elegant solution to some of the, the problems that we were trying to solve. And they are mostly around how do you have like global consensus and more uh, scalable decentralized systems uh, through which you can build uh, some core internet infrastructure, but also services and applications uh, on, on top. And this is before, you know, the terms like Web 3.0 even existed. And I think now people have a slightly better understanding of like what, what Web 3.0 is. It's mostly around these smart contracts and decentralized applications. And I think within crypto, uh, one way to think about the work that we do with the Stacks blockchain is that we are in the Bitcoin camp, like in the sense that if you divide most projects as, uh, you know, Ethereum is, is definitely kind of like the, the more dominant player right now in terms of apps and smart contracts. So you're either building on Ethereum or kind of like, you know, planning to build on ETH2, or there are these new next generation blockchains that might be faster or, you know, have their different capabilities. and we almost view them as a bucket, right? Like there are a bunch of these projects and some of them we are very friendly with and we collaborate with them and so on, but we are actually building on Bitcoin, right? So we bring our blockchain has a native connection with Bitcoin. It's almost like a, uh, it's not really a side chain, but that's probably the best way to understand it. It's a layer one blockchain that has native uh, connections to Bitcoin. And uh, the Bitcoin chain is actually securing uh, the, the stack chain as well, right? So to basically change the history of the stack chain, uh, you would have to attack Bitcoin as well, right? And, and it should be, be thought as a, uh, as a project that brings new functionality to Bitcoin. Uh, we bring smart contracts to Bitcoin. We actually bring more scalable transactions to Bitcoin. And our core thesis is that just like in the early days of the internet, uh, you know, there were several different types of networks, but eventually we started seeing, you know, people building more on TCP IP. So Bitcoin might actually become that layer and, and we, we kind of like provide the rest of the functionality that, that you would need for something like that to happen. Wow, there's so many paths to go there to delve deeper. I'm already fascinated. 